Hey guys, what's up? Good to have you here. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. How are you doing tonight? You good? Yeah? Good. Yeah, doing yeah, well. well. Good, good. There's, there's Very plenty, well. plenty of people. All right. So I'm Waiting for the class. And I'm here to deliver it to you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and recap as we always do. What was... Yeah, yesterday's topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was yesterday's topic? Used to. Mm -hmm. Used to. Uh, answer and question about used to. Questions and answer used and used to. Exactly. When do we use used to? I use used to when I need to talk about something that I used to do. In the, in the past, past and right now I yeah. don't do it. Mm -hmm. No, you don't do it anymore. That's a very good definition. So, now, today we're going to have oh the camera here. I didn't want you to see my my Coca Cola glass. It's not about <laughs> Coca Cola, but anyways, now today we're going to be working with uh, countable nouns. But before we move forward, come now. Mm -hmm. We're going to be working with some nouns. Okay. Do you have any questions about used to? Speak now or be quiet forever because that topic is gone. You good? That's okay, okay teacher. I just see your head. It's an ahead. easy topic, right? Nice. So this movement is nod. So guys, please nod your head. And you do like this. Not if you understand. <laughs> Not this action. All right. So, okay. um, <laughs> all right, let's get it ready because there's plenty of things to do. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Here. So, let's go ahead and work with it, please. Read it with me. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Learn how to describe problems in English using count and uncountable nouns. Learn how to describe problems using count and uncountable nouns. By the end of this class, you learn how to describe problems in a city using phrases like too many, too much, less, fewer, enough and more go by the by end, the end of, the of this class learn how to learn good you'll also learn about common noun count it says non count but it can also be uncountable that's up to you it's the same thing so, you'll also learn about common non-count nouns, including water, oxygen, English, traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, etc. Go. You, you also, also learn about, about common non-count non nouns, nouns, water, okay, water, 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 oxygen, English, oxygen, traffic, traffic, traffic milk, 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 soccer, milk, sunshine, sunshine, sunshine etc. And understand how to tell if a noun is count or non-count. An English oral oh. comprehension audio exercise is included. And, and understand, understand how to understand how tell if a noun is count or non-count. is included. Exactly. So let's go ahead and move forward on this one. And I'm also going to give you some supporting material, too, about this, which is more about vocabulary. Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. What means not count? Not count? Good question. Contables. Non-count means that you cannot count it. 
So you cannot say one traffic, two traffic, three traffic. You can say traffic. No se pueden contar. All right, my okay. friends. So go ahead and mute your microphones, please, while we watch the video. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking, those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you. Alrighty guys, before, before we move forward, antes de continuar, I want to show you something real quick, which is going to be supporting material. All right, this is also on the videos with better explanation than this one, but I wanted to see it. Now, countable nouns and uncountable nouns, as the name says, are the names. So pretty much, you can add a number before the noun, and we have to pay attention to the subject verb agreement. This is like another explanation about it. So you can say this is a delicious hamburger, and these hamburgers are delicious. How many hamburgers? Two. Now, concrete nouns are pretty much the things that we can touch, we can uh, make it ours that we can use, like laptop, laptops, bugs, boxes, and umbrella, umbrellas. These are concrete nouns. Here comes the funny part. Most of the nouns are concrete. Table, computer, hair, nouns. Now, oh, but hair is not uncountable. It's not countable. And then we have uncountable nouns. As Jose was saying, we cannot count them easily. We cannot add a number before them. And we normally use is instead of are. This is very important. Okay? 
we can use some instead of a or an. Now, these are some ideas. They, they can be emotions like happiness, sadness, ideas, like um, family is an idea too, or music. All of these are abstract ideas. You cannot touch the music, right? Um, then we have liquids and gases, beer, water, coffee, fog. Let's continue. Now, we also have made of a smaller parts. This is a little bit more concrete, it's más concreto. Like sand, sugar, beans, or traffic. Son hechos de partes más pequeños. Then we go with all kinds of materials like plastic, glass, steel, wood, or ice. So what I'm telling you right here is pretty much the categories for uncountable nouns. And some food, bacon, meat, bread. This, by the way, this is a bun of bread, un bollito de pan, strawberries and eggs. Now, it depends. You can count eggs like this when they are in the shell, but normally you cannot count eggs when they are like this. You can count strawberries, but you don't go to the store or to the supermarket. I want to buy five strawberries. You got to weight them. Okay. So this comes to the next thing. There are some nouns that are always going to be like this, that you cannot make them plural. The news. In Spanish, we, mira, tengo dos noticias, la buena y la mala, cual quieres. In Spanish, we cannot say that. I have some news to you. Okay? You cannot say to. Also, advice. Consejo. We don't say advices. I have one advice or I have some advice. But you cannot say I have three advices for you. That's impossible. And also, money. Can we count money? Yes or no? What do you say? Can we count money? Yes. No. Yes or no? No, we can't no. count money. We can count the currency, five dollars, a hundred quetzales, five lempiras, but we don't say I have five monies. I have a hundred money. So the noun money, we cannot count it. Okay? Is this clear? Helpful? And that which is something that we are not gonna quite use here, but I just wanted to see it, which is as well right there, is how to make them countable, okay? You can say bread, all of these are uncountables, right? But you can say a loaf of bread, slices of bread, slices of pizza, of cheese, of ham, Either way, they are uncountable nouns. There is always a way to count it. Pounds, kilos, cans, this is a can, bowls, a tray, una bandeja, steaks. So even though they are uncountable, as you can see, chocolate bar, a piece of chocolate, a pinch, una pizca de, for those who cook, kilograms, spoons, ounces for liquids and solids, cans, you know, normally you cannot count this. Oxygen, you can count tank of oxygen. So the idea is for you to include in your vocabulary some units of measure so you can actually make uncountable nouns countable, okay? Like sheets of paper, toilet paper roll, a bunch of, of bananas, a bunch of flowers, a bunch of grapes, un manojo o un montón de. And for those who like to drink some beverages, glasses, bottles, liters, or gallons. Okay? So I really hope that this has actually helped you out to make or to have a bigger idea. Espero que eso les haya podido ayudar a tener una idea más grande de lo que son los countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Do you have any question before we continue?
Yes. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. Very good. So let's go ahead and continue with the video, please. So that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there is too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to mm -hmm. tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non-count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non-count? Um, is, is that count or not count? Um, buses, is that count or not count? And pollution, is that count or not count? Okay, so we are going to be working with this vocabulary. All of this. Here's a structure that you can use in order for you to talk about problems in the city. So say it with me, please. There are too many cars. There are too many cars. Too many cars. Too many cars. There should be fewer cars. There should be fewer cars. Should be fewer cars. Few. Fewer. 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 Fewer cars. Fewer. Fewer cars. We need more subway lines. We need more. We need more subway lines. There aren't enough buses. There, there aren't, aren't enough, enough, buses. Enough, buses. enough buses. Uh huh. Enough buses. So, guys, um, how do you say "I demasiada demasiados buses"? There are some. There, there are some buses. buses. There are too many uh -huh. buses. Too many. Exactly. Too many. There are too many. Many. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. many. Now, let's leave it there. No hay suficientes buses. There, there aren't, aren't enough, 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 aren't buses. enough, aren't enough buses. Especially aren't from, from Route 46C. Okay. So here, vamos con lo siguiente, guys. There is too much traffic. There, there is, is too much, too much traffic. traffic. There is too much traffic. Mm -hmm. And if you want to um, contract it, the contraction is there's. 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 There's too much traffic. There's too much traffic. There's too much traffic. There should be less pollution. There should be less pollution. We need more public transportation. We need more, more public transportation. transportation. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation will be pa, public. 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 There isn't enough parking. There, there isn't, isn't enough, enough, enough parking. parking. Mm -hmm. That's right. So guys, we have count nouns and uncount nouns. As you can see, 
I like to work with patterns. Me gusta trabajar con patrones. Now, let's go ahead and find the patterns here. There aren't enough buses. There isn't enough parking. Same, right? Same ah, word. Aren't because you can use plural. Uh -huh, exactly. I'm, I'm going to cover that in a second. Good, good, good. We need more subway lines. We need more public transportation. So more is the same as more with count and uncount. But what happens mm -hmm. with few and less? Here comes a little difference. We are going to use, um, give me a second, I'm gonna get this thing. We are going to use fewer with countable nouns and we are going to use less with? No, uncountable. No. 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 It is the same meaning in Spanish. Debería de haber menos contaminación, debería haber menos carros. Es lo mismo. But in English, there's a difference. So we're gonna use fewer with countable nouns and less with uncountable nouns. And okay. what do you think it happens here? We also use many with countable <laughs> nouns and much with uncountable <laughs> nouns. Mm -hmm. ¿Estamos? So, yes, yes. Um, me gusta yes. mucho trabajar con patrones porque empiezan a repetir frases y luego solo van cambiando el complemento. Okay, así es como, créanlo, no, repetition is key. La repetición es clave. Now, something that who said, who was talking about is and are. Someone said that something about it. Alguien dijo algo de is y are. Who said that? I am. Yo. Okay, give me a second. I have, I have no a lot of me. people. No, I mean, no, okay, me. no, I mean, no, no I mean. I have a lot of people. Okay, so... As I mentioned before in the in the in my, in my video, not not in my video in, in in the PowerPoint presentation, we normally use is normally with uncountable nouns. There is too much traffic. No podemos decir there are too much traffic porque como no lo estamos contando no lleva plural. Simplemente son incontables. Pero acá sí there are too many cars. cars. There aren't enough buses. So in this one we use are because we can count the nouns. And in this one we use is because we cannot count the nouns. No. All right. Do you have any questions so far? No. Esa es la película, es la película. No. Esa es la pregunta más mala que puede hacer un teacher o un facilitador. Tienen preguntas, todos van a decir que no. Y en las evaluaciones. Ponchados. Ponchation. Ok. So, um, don't worry about it, guys. Si tienen pena, that's fine. As you can see, I don't, and I'm here to help you. Aquí estoy para ayudarles. So, one more time. Um, I need victim. Sorry, volunteers. Let me see. Los que nunca les he visto la cámara. Ay. Ay, ok. Give me a second. Bueno. No, um, a encenderla. I don't have ca camera, camera. Camera. In okay. my computer. Camera. Don't camera. Worry about in my it. computer. Ok, I have seen. Yes. No, I mean, I don't think I've seen you. So, no, I mean, let me ask you something. When do we use is? Is you use when. You're talking about non-console now. Good job, good job. Easy as that, right? Yeah. Um, Benja. Hello. When do we use R? We use R with count nouns. Okay, excellent. Stanley Arteaga. Hi. What's up, sir? Um, when do we use many? Mm, we use many with count nouns. Exactly. Nice. Good job, sir. Thank you. Sara Castillo, when do we use um, much? We use much with no count nouns. Mm -hmm. You can say non-count or uncountable. Uncount. I, like, I like to say uncountable, but that's my personal choice. Omi, when do we use less? 
I use it less when uh, no. on count. Uh -huh. On count. On count. No, no. Countable. I'm kind of bummed right now. It's I'm coming. I'm coming out. Oh, Ramirez. Hello. Hey, you're a girl. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. When do we, when do we use fewer or few? Uh, count. Yes. Nice. With countable nouns. Good. 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 Don't worry about it. Uh, Luis Alvarenga. When do we use more? Uh, we we use more for both for count and, and uncountable nouns. You got it, sir. Thank you. And David, when do we use enough? We use enough with not count noun. Got it. Thank you very much uh, to all of you. I'm gonna be sending you a, a picture of this that I did. I just have to open WhatsApp. But teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Do you use uh, there should be together all the time? Not necessarily, but in this structure, yes. Deberían de haber. We are going to get some, some examples right now about that. Okay, thank you. All right, let me just open my WhatsApp on the, on the computer so I can send that to you, and we're going to be using it in a second. So, guys, how do you say hay demasiados, hay demasiada gente? There are too much people. There is too much people. There is or there are? There is too much people. Can you count people? No. No. Can you say, I see two people right there? No. 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 no, you can say actually, I actually see you can two say persons. that, but uh, the mm. people is uncountable when you refer to a uh, maybe um, people ga gathered together, mm. gathered mm -hmm. man or woman. Yeah, this is this is a tricky one, guys. Um, normally, they teach you at school that person is persona two persons, five persons, but you can actually say two people and three people. So it really depends on what you want to say. You can count it or not. You can say there are two people over there because you're counting two. You are using it as a countable noun or you can say there isn't or there is too much people if you're talking as a group. Right? If you go to Salvador del Mundo and you say, look, there, there are too many people, you are not counting them. So I would recommend you to say there is too many people. Um, there is too much people. I don't know if you're getting this point. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a little bit tricky. It depends. If you can count them, it's countable. If you cannot, it's um, uncountable. All right. So, um, give me examples with there are too many. There are too many notebooks in the library. Yes. Yes, that's a good example. But there now let's focus <coughs> about problems of our society. There are too many diputados. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes. So nah. <laughs> Not politician, right? Congress. <laughs> Congress. Men. I'm not sure about if it's congressmen, but that's the one I'm going to use in the meantime, okay? I'm not sure about this one. There are too many congressmen. Yes. What else? There is, uh, there is uh, too much trash. Yes. Yes. Keep it there because we're going to use it in a minute. Let's continue with there are. I'll ah, okay, okay. In a second. okay, okay. There are, there are too many people uh -huh. with COVID-19? Yes, there are too many people with COVID-19. COVID mm -hmm. Good. I mean, yeah. not, not good that there's people with COVID. Good example. Now, yeah. uh, how do you there say are too many uh -huh. um, 
traffic lights in San Salvador. Nice. Ahí nos estamos entendiendo. Nice. There are too many traffic lights in San Salvador. How do you say muchos mañosos? There are too many thieves. There are too many thieves. Too many thieves. Or gangsters. That, that's another one. Um, that's what about with is? Give me examples with uncountable nouns. There is too much. Si se fijan, guys, there are too many, no lo cambian. Lo único que le cambian es al final. Right? Lo que pueden contar. So there is too much, no lo cambian. Demasiado, too much. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe there is too much sugar in my coffee. Nice. There's too much sugar in my coffee. I like it. There is too much trash in the street. Yes, the one someone said around there. There is too much trash in the street. Hey, guys, I would like you to, to check this. If you say trash like this, it's going to be basura. If you use trash. Garbage. Aha. Uh -huh. If you use thrash with H is azote. Mm. So <laughs> the, the pronunciation here is tra trash. And the pronunciation in the other one is thrash. Para los que les gusta el thrash metal, ahí viene, azote. Okay, so that was good. Uh, thank you. Uh -huh. Spell that. <laughs> it's already in the chat. It's the same. It's yes. It's not thrasher, it's thrasher. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> Pronunciation. Siempre trato de darles un par de tips, you know, cosas curiosas del idioma, eh, versos y cosas así para que vayan aprendiendo un poquito más. Yo hubiera Thank deseado you. que cuando yo estudiaba me hubieran dado detalles así, así que I'm going to give you everything I have. Um, so let's go ahead and continue. Give me two more with there is about issues in society there or in your house. There is too much rain. Nice. There is too much rain. Good. Me there is one. too much. There is too much pollution in the city. Uh huh. Too much pollution. There is too much water. Where? Water. Rain. Uh huh. There is too much rain. 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 Mm -hmm. How do you say? Hay mucha bulla. There are. There is, no. there is too there much. There is too much. Too much. Uh -huh. much, much rain. Loud. Noise. 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 Exactly. Loud Noise. is that the Noise. volume Noise. is high. The high volume. The voice. Normally kids are very loud. Hola, papá, papá. They are very loud. That's, that's how they are. And noise is reggaeton or other things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just a common thing. All right. Uh, if you like reggaeton, it's fine with me. I don't mind. There should be, with this one, there should be fewer, debería dar menos que. Just give me two examples because of time. There should be? There should be fewer motorcycles. It's okay. So fewer motorcycles. <laughs> nice. Or buses. Uh -huh. Give me the full sentence. There should be fewer buses in the uh -huh. city. Buses in, in the, the downtown. City? In downtown. That's right. One more. There should there should be fewer cars during quarantine. Yes, nice example. Yeah, during I agree. <laughs> quarantine. Okay, now let's go with there should be less. Remember, it's going to be uncountable. There should be less um, smoke in the city. De los vehículos. Yes. Okay, car fumes. Oh, okay. There should be less car films. Okay. Smoke is, for example, what you have out of a cigarette, what you have out of a, out of a fireplace. But okay. um, humo de vehículo is car films. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, give me two car more. <clears throat> Sorry. Should there should be less. Buck. In my house. Ya vi que los contables les cuestan un poquito en el vocabulario. <laughs> That's good. Don't worry about it. Hey, you gotta memorize. There should be less box. 
there should be less there should be less violence uh -huh. help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there should be there less should be. corruption there should be less corruption what else i'm giving you examples If you don't know how to say it in English, try it out in Spanish. Try it in Spanish, no. There shall be less uh, racist in the world. There should be there. less discrimination. Okay, discrimination, yes. And what is the one that you said? I, I heard a girl talking. Me. It's the same that there shall be less discrimination okay i say racism racism how do you say racism racism racism, racism. 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 okay awesome. nice i agree um very good now we go we need more and here it gets a little bit easier because it can be countable or uncountable what do we need in this country we need more we need, we need more, more education. Bus. Education, nice. Another one. Mm. We need more. We need more money. Yes, we all do. We need more money. <laughs> what else? We we need more computer in, in the school. Nice. We need more computers at schools. At school. Mm -hmm. At schools at school. in general. In general. What else? We need, we need more space. Yes, we don't fit in this country. Mm -hmm. We need more networking. No, about what? A lot the uh, connection. That, uh, how do you say that? Uh, the internet or more, uh, more accessible. Okay, we need more access to internet. To okay. the internet. Um, <laughs> the internet is a little bit special because there's only uh -huh. one. So you mm -hmm. always say the internet the internet you can say check on internet that's spanish miran internet that's spanish check it on the internet mm -hmm. i don't have access to the internet always with the article d also you're going to use on this is another commercial on whatsapp on facebook como se dice en twitter on Twitter. On Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter. So, todo lo que tiene que ver con el internet generalmente se ocupa on. On Twitter, on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Or on the internet. Always with the article D. Keep it in mind. Those are good, good details. All right. And the last one. There isn't or there aren't enough. ¿Qué nos hace falta? There aren't enough uh, work opportunities or job opportunities. Job opportunities. Job opportunities. Job opportunities. Mm -hmm. job. And there are, how do you say, <laughs> how do you say van a haber menos todavía? Fewer or less? Uh, less. 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 Can you because count job opportunities? It's now, now count. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you two tries, two opportunities. Can you count opportunities? Yes, you can count opportunities. But, uh, okay. but you say it employed in general. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. You, you, you can count on employment. Oh, on employment, you cannot count it. That's right. Desempleo, you cannot count it. But job opportunities, you can. Yes. Okay. Where so there are. Vamos, aren't. There aren't enough job opportunities. Lleva la S al final. ¿Se acuerdan lo que decía José? Si tiene S, puede ser plural. Ese es otro tip. Muy bien, guys. Ahí es donde se saca todo. Uh, tell me more, please. There aren't, there isn't. 
there aren't enough uh, universities in El Salvador, maybe. But I like it. There, there aren't enough trees on this city. Nice. That's true. That's a fact. There aren't enough trees. trees. There aren't less money. <laughs> there aren't yeah. less money. O sea, no hay mm. menos dinero. Significa que hay oh. más. Aren't enough. Aren't enough. No, aren't less money. No. There isn't enough isn't less enough money. money. Exactly. Okay. So, guys, this is what we're going to do. Um, I wanted to talk with your partners for the next, what, for the next 17 minutes. Try to talk about what's going on in El Salvador. But also, if you want to be, if you want to make it personal, go ahead and talk about your life. Okay, for example, here, there are too many things in my room. <laughs> I have to clean it. Uh, there should be fewer things in my room. I need more space, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. First, talk about El Salvador and then talk about you, if you want, your family, your friends. Any question? No? All righty then. No so worries. you have the examples on the chat. I'm going... I'm going to open up the break rooms. Go ahead and accept the invite so you can work with your classmates. Si les cae otra invitación, acéptenla, porque a veces veo que alguien no se ha metido o hay una persona sola y los estoy moviendo, ¿ok? Okay. Okay. Um. The okay. Well, the I think the there are too too many traffic for today in in the afternoon. Traffic. I think that is unconnable. Ah, unconnable. Yes. Uh, it's too much. Too much traffic. No, too much. Yeah, too much. Ah, yeah. too much traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too okay. much traffic because it's uncomfortable. And because you said today, that means it's past. Ah, okay. Is you're going to use was. 
there was. Ah, okay, there was. Teacher, and I and I can use only two. Um, for example, um, uh, for example, uh, but se lo voy a decir en español. Se puede usar solo tú en alguna frase sin too many, too much, only two o no? Sí, al final sí. Es como también, I like it too. Me gusta también. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh, I... Teacher. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So yes, Teacher. you can. Go ahead. And a little, a lot of, is the, uh -huh. you can, we can use that word. Yes, you can. Yeah, because uh, the four words for the class is an example. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yep, these are only a couple of examples because we cannot have like the whole bunch of of um of examples, right? So you, we just work with a few. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, right now, there aren't uh, enough uh, light in my room. It's an example. Mm -hmm. Nice. There aren't enough lights. Yeah. Light. Okay. Enough Acuérdense light. que se ocupan el R es porque viene un plural, ¿ve? Los plurales llevan ese. Ah, yeah. In, in this case, uh, there are three, three. Focus, I don't know, bombillo. Light bulb. Light, light bulb. Light bulb. Bulb, I'm gonna write it down. Teacher, is correct, say I'm too much tighter? Something like that, for example? Um, bulb. No, and that one is gonna be, I am very tired, porque estás ocupando el verb to be. I am oh. very tired. El tú con adjetivos, ¿no? ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo no? I am se puede? too tired. Estoy oh. demasiado cansada. O sea, ya no aguanto. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I'm too okay. tired. All right. Tired. Continue working, guys. Uh, veo que tienen como un poquito ahí todavía de conflicto con contable, no contable. Yeah. Is o no. Entonces, háganlos en orden. Así como yo se los di, trabajen primero con contables, luego con incontables. Para que puedan un poquito eh, ver la, la, la estructura, para que vean el patrón. Teacher, okay. y nos va a compartir la, la presentación de las imágenes. De Contable, Incontable. Ah, ya yeah, se los puedo mandar. También ahí están los, ahí están los videos también en YouTube. Esos uh -huh. son unos que ya subí hace yes. rato, pero sí se los puedo mandar. No problem. Sí. Ah, y una, y una consultita. Eh, en los ejercicios de la plataforma, cuando uno hace los ejercicios, uh -huh. hay, un, hay un enlace que se dice enviar. Eh, uh -huh. ¿Siempre lo, se presta o aunque le da el puntaje de, de los ejercicios? Sí, siempre hay que apretarlo para que el sistema registre su progreso. Si no, le va a salir como que no ha completado algún ejercicio. Y si sale chiquecito, es que sí, sí el sistema lo ha, lo ha aprobado, ¿verdad? Sí, exacto. Okay. Cualquier duda así con problema técnico de la plataforma, eh, pueden contactarse con Jonathan. Ahí él puso su número. Él es como, son los que ven los... los Issues technical. Support. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tech support. Thank you. You're welcome. Keep on practicing. You're doing great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay. First, con nouns. <laughs> I have a problem with the contact. Contact. Any leak? Leak cords? Yes, I drink. Uh, Tequila. <laughs> yeah, I like it, but. Uh, um, I prefer a scotch. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. right, continue. I'm not here. Just pretend I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I don't uh, like the, the, the liquors, but yeah. just drink beers sometimes. <laughs> okay. It's a... Uh, it's a custom uh, um, you need to learn to drink uh, scotch because uh, uh, if, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, if, mm -hmm. if uh, okay, uh, you need care uh, and how do you say, prudent teacher, prudent? Uh, 
Yeah, you need to be careful. Careful, careful, mm -hmm. careful, yeah. And how many beers? Okay. Did you drink usually? <laughs> Come on. Focus on the structure. You can you can drink about beers, drinking a few beers. Come on. No, drinking teacher, it's it's uh, uh -huh. we are talking about the 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 there aren't uh, enough uh, beers in the supermarket, right? <laughs> ah, okay. But, uh, that that yes. was the, the the point we started the we conversation. Need to... We need the to liquor. focus, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, okay. In the Central Park, there are a few night clubs to party. Repeat again, please. In the Central Park of El Salvador, there are a few night clubs to, to go to the party. There are few nightclubs to party. To party, okay. Uh -huh. There are few nightclubs to party downtown. Downtown. See, sí, yeah. Okay. In this country, there are many criminals who attack noble people. Yes, I agree. Continue, guys. You're doing good. Okay. There are too many. ¿Cómo se dice sancudo en inglés? Mosquitos. Mosquitos, that's right. Mos la conciencia. Vaya, voy a abrirla. ¿Cómo sería? Hay muchos zancudos en mi casa. There are too many mosquitoes in my house. Sí, sí, sí. Otra. Otra. Um, ¿Cómo se diría? No tengo suficientes muebles en mi casa. I don't have, uh, okay. oh. I don't have enough furniture. No. Yes. Pero, pero muebles, ¿cómo se dice? Furniture. Furniture. ¿Cómo? Furniture. furniture. I'm going to write it down. Mm -hmm. It's written furniture. Ah, furniture. Ok, ok, ok. Furniture. No sabía. I Furniture. didn't know. Now you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, continue. Give me one more one, one more example, Rodolfo, please. Okay, okay. Gabriela, una más dame. Give me ah. one more. Try, yeah, try to do es it in English. Ella me la dice en español y yo la digo en inglés. Ah, okay, got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... <clears throat> No hay suficiente seguridad en el país. Oh, uh, no. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Quiero ver seguridad. Secur there, is, there isn't enough security in this country. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. There no. isn't. There isn't there enough. Isn't enough. I, think, enough. I think that you're doing great about the structure. Just make sure that you... Um, Practice. You got the skills. Just okay. We only yeah, got a yeah. couple of minutes. Talk as, as much as you can. Like there's no tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. There are you fewer coasters, huh? On the streets. Yes. Uh, and what else? There aren't enough mm -hmm. traffic police in the streets. And uh, traffic. Uh, the traffic, traffic police, no. Street, no traffic no. police. There or... are. There are too many. Well, there aren't enough police officers or patrol officers. Patrols okay. officer. Patrols officer. Okay. Uh -huh. Patrol officer. Okay. Yeah. There are enough patrol officers. So we need more public force on the streets. There you go. Yeah. Or, or public officers too. Either public or. officer. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. Continue. You have uh, topics about everything, about conversation, about and I share with with the people. But I think the 
the key is the motivation for learning or, or why do you try to improve the English uh, but but learning how to speak very well is need time to study for not for um, for feel confident to talk But but we have a a, a good teacher. Uh -huh. and I have a, a lot of tips. Okay, all right. Extra points for you. The extra points. No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh no, it's okay. All right. What do you think, or uh, Olga Ramirez? Um, the, the topic in class. Yes. Uh, well, um, um, example, there are too, too many. Mm -hmm. There are uh, too many. Uh, air traffic in the, in the car, car Highway. Uh, Highway, okay. Away in your churros today. <laughs> All right. Yes. Many traffic. Yes, I agree. All right, guys. Let's okay. go back. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. okay. Nice. All right, guys. So thank you very much for practicing. See, I think everybody's gonna is, is there is there a chance to have like um uh, file or, or or maybe a um a link where we can find more more uh, count or non counts now? Mm. I don't know about any in particular that I can recommend, but I can Google it for you. If I find one, I'm going to send it to you. You can just write down. Um, Google is a, very, is a very nice tool, actually. You can type list of uncountable nouns, lista de nouns incontables en inglés, and I'm going to try to look for one to you. Because well, they are... There are many, but maybe it's a, um, a particular uh, a site, maybe. Not that I know of. Though I do yeah. recommend, it's a dictionary called Word by Word Picture Dictionary. And the good thing about it is that it gives you images. Okay? Um, bueno, ya que I, no, have, no, I have the book. Nos pasamos un poquito. Um, en cuanto a los nouns, guys, una de las recomendaciones que yo doy, el video de, de, de recommendation, dura 13 minutos, pero es el más largo que he hecho, pero vale la pena. Les digo que es mejor que ustedes digan, por ejemplo, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, a que digan cell phone, celular, cell phone, celular. Porque si se lo aprenden así, que no está del todo mal, van a tener problemas de fluidez, de organización de pensamientos cuando estén hablando. Hey, you know what? I want to buy a... I want to buy a, ¿cómo se dice? Celular. And you're going to start translating. Van a empezar a traducir en su cabeza. Entonces, para contestar tu pregunta, no tengo una página web que darte, la puedo buscar, pero sí les aconsejo que, yo se los puedo mandar, solo tengo que, sí, ahí lo tengo. Ya se los voy a mandar al chat. Es uno que se llama Word by Word Picture Dictionary y eso es lo que tiene. Literalmente ponen housing, todos los tipos de casa, con número y abajo qué es. Verduras, fruta, cosas de la cocina, cosas que de verdad ustedes van a ocupar. Así que lo pueden ah, ver, lo pueden comprar. Yo descargué, hola, hola, yo descargué ese diccionario, no sé si alguien lo quiere, me escribe. Sí, yo sí, no es, es súper bueno, ya se lo voy a mandar yo también. Y si lo van a imprimir, yo lo conseguía, bueno, pero ahorita ya no, con todos ustedes madre. Pero este, si lo van a imprimir, imprimo a los colores. ¿Por qué? Porque si no es como los exámenes, vea que nos mostraban una célula y en el examen un gran manchón en negro. 
no van a entender nada. Describe the picture. Uh -huh. So yes, I'm, I'm going to no. send it right now. Um, like I said, it's, it's not divided, but it has verbs. It, it has verbs, it has expressions, it has time, it has everything. It is super useful. I use it and I learn from it. Is, right? it, is it free or, or do we have to, I mean, in, in, the, in the web? No, no, not the, oh, the no, no. I'm going to send it to you. It's a PDF file. It's not going to be <laughs> ah, free okay. if you want to print it. Y si lo quieren pedir, creo que, um, no sé qué librería la tienen. Yo pregunté en una galería y me dijeron que había que pedirlo. Y valía como, no sé si 30 y algo más la traída, algo así. Así que mejor se los mando por PDF. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, guys. I really hope that you have learned something today. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Get out of here. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night, guys.